Greetings, my name is Absolutely Massive. Absolutely Massive Physique, even. So, we have a question, as you see in the title of this video. How to get shredded for summer. We have the question from my man, Brian, on Subscribestar. And he asks, any tips on making a successful cut for the summer? And I have a few esoteric insights here. Well, actually not esoteric, they're quite... Easy and straightforward, you've probably heard me say them before, but uh, we'll get into it anyway, we'll get into it in a bit. Before that, we have an update from the Temple of Iron. Alright, checking in from the Temple of Iron, see there I'm going for the long-awaited 100 kilos to 20 pounds in the military press. So you see there I'm loading up and I'm trying to get the absolutely best hit possible. So there we go, and pushing through the window, boom, up. Really, really nice. Felt good. Perhaps you've seen it already, but I thought to include it in this fine video as well. So I have done, of course, push press with 100 kilos for reps before. And when I do that, I do use a lot more momentum in the legs. Now you can see that there is a tiny bit of momentum even when I do the overhead press here, but I try to limit it. So it's a bit stricter than a push press. So I might get back to the push presses later on. Now you see before you as well, it's doing some extra repetitions at 80 kilos. Feels good. Now we are moving on with the deadlifts. You see... I'm doing a sign of the Hammer of Thor there. So similar as the Christians do with their cross, I do with um, the Hammer of Thor. So we're checking in with 240 kilos right here. And boom, there goes the first one up. And then we're loading up again for the second repetition. First one felt easy enough, I suppose. And then we're loading up and rolling the bar. And up we go. Boom, nice. And of course, I um, I grunt a bit to get the air out of the um, on the top of the position. And then you might ask why I roll the bar, and that is because I can get more air in the lungs um, before the repetition. So there we go, the third one, and we go up. So a tiny bit shakiness, but still within the realm of what is reasonable. So yeah, good times. I will see what sort of goal I have next. I will keep you all updated. Now back to the video at hand. So, good stuff, good stuff indeed. Now, on to the question at hand. The absolutely best advice I have to give to anyone who's looking to lose some weight, to burn some fat, is simply to go for a walk every day. Go for a walk of 50-60 minutes every day, preferably listening to the sponsor of this video, aka myself. So listen to the greatest podcast while you're out strolling about, enjoying the nice weather. Now, I'm usually out with my little Cuddleton, the princess. So I have her in the stroller and uh, yeah, enjoying the nice weather here in Sweden. So that is what I'm doing and I've done this for years, by the way. So you just add a walk every day and then you don't need to be so... Um, you can, of course, count calories if you want. It's always a good idea. I don't do it uh, and uh, you can get away with not doing it as well. So if you go for a walk every day and if you make sure to not overeat to compensate for the additional expenditure of calories. So go about your business as usual and then just add a walk every day. Then you will create um, a deficit if you have been eating at a maintenance level, which you do, by the way, if you eat according to your appetite. So just add some more movement into your life and make sure to not overeat to compensate for it. So that is the absolutely best advice I have. Another tip you can do intermittent fasting by the way for the record I don't do intermittent fasting because I consume calories upon waking up so my usual coffee of the ages so half a teaspoon of butter I've reduced it from one teaspoon to half a teaspoon of butter and then a full teaspoon of coconut oil in my beloved golden coffee company gourmet coffee so that is my breakfast as it were and then a few hours after that, depending on when I wake up, but usually around 8 or 9 or so, depending on when I'm training as well, I have my standard smoothie of the ages. So some milk, some raw eggs, whey, collagen, creatine, and a banana, and then I'm set to hit the gym. So yeah, that is my standard, and then of course if I do want to reduce the calories a bit, I also try to limit the eating later in the day. So the advice at hand is to do intermittent fasting, especially limiting your eating in the evening, because I know a lot of guys, myself included, I will admit, you know, it's it's nice and comfortable to, um, to comfort eat in the evening, especially after dinner, but if you have a set 
a limit, a time limit, so you don't eat after a certain after a certain hours. You eat a big dinner, the last thing you do, and then you you don't eat anything after that. So that can be a good idea as well if you want to lose some weight, burn some fat, to simply reduce calories via reducing the time you eat during the day. And then also we have, of course, cutting sugar. A lot easier said than done. Quite obvious, everyone knows it's bad to eat sugar. Everyone knows that you will reach your goals faster if you don't eat sugar. I eat sugar, by the way. I ice cream and max every once in a while. I do like ice cream and I do like pastries. But if you do want to lose some weight, you are... Um, yeah, if you cut out more sugar, the easier it will be for you to, to lose weight. So those are my tips right there to lose some fat before summer to get in a good shape. So for me, the only thing I will do is simply to walk more, which I should do anyway. Now we have a question from Pat and he says, you recently made a post about how you are able to maintain a high level of fitness while also being a father and a husband. What does your daily schedule look like? Do you take care of business matters in the morning, then go to the gym, then spend evening with your family? Thanks. Yeah, that's exactly how I do it. So morning hours most productive when my mental sharpness is at its peak. So then I try to get done the the heavier stuff, especially if I want to do some writing or whatever or reading, then I do that. Then go to the gym, then afternoon some lighter business stuff. So responding to emails and stuff like that. So lighter stuff that doesn't require full mental power. And then in the evening I do try to spend with my family. So yeah. Roughly like that it looks. Now something to keep in mind as well, which I have said that I was in a good shape before becoming a father and it's easier to maintain a good level of fitness than it is to actually get there. So for everyone who has more time on their hands, do use the time to train as hard as possible because it will be it will be easier later on when you have less time to maintain your, uh, your physique and your fitness. So do train hard and your gains will be loyal. And uh, yeah, do train naturally as well. That's when the gains are loyal so you don't depend on um, needles from the outside to maintain your physiques. So train hard naturally, try to get as strong as possible and then you will be in a better position to uh, have a good physique later on. So yeah, hopefully that was somewhat helpful and informative. Hopefully you can get lean for summer so you can post physique. So good stuff, good stuff. Thank you for watching. Do check out legioglorya.com. Do read Dauntless and Demigod Mentality. Absolutely mandatory reading. And of course, if you are out for supplements and whey, do check out Jotunheim Nutrition. So jotunheimnutrition.se if you are in good old Sweden, the glorious kingdom of Sweden. We will return. We will return. We're in a bad place now, but we will return. More about that in a different video. If you are in Europe, jotunheimnutrition.de and if you are in good old America, jotunheimnutrition.com. So, good times. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. XXO. Boom.